Hello and welcome. So you want to play some Battle Splash? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, where to download it, how to install it, and then how to play it. So let's go. First up, you have to go to the official download page, which is Drian Stu Drania Studio .io slash battle minus splash. You can find the link in the description of this video. And then you just press download now. Then this pops up and, and you just press no thanks, just take me to the downloads. And here again, you press the download button. And there we go, the download started. And it will appear in your download folder. So I already finished the download. So you all you have to do then is right click it and press extract all. It is very important that you do not double click it to enter it, you have to extract it first. And uh, I actually already extracted it, so let's just go in there. All you have to do in this folder is press the battle splash pre alpha with the icon with the .exe if you have extensions enabled. And here's the icon. Just double click it. And we're going to go into windowed mode so you can see. Well, so we can see multiple windows later. Um, yeah, let's do. Let's do, let's do this resolution. So you just wait until the logos disappear. You can click to accelerate at least some of them, I think. Come on, logos. It's not responding, just wait a little. There we go. Clickety-click. A Delta production. All right, here we can see the player characters and you can go to options and video and disable some of the advanced stuff if your computer isn't the most powerful one and just go to play then press medieval city on the right side and then uh, press this load button that might be confusing for some then you have this waiting sequence with some tips and all you have to do now is press server uh, press start server then press team free for all and here you can set the amount of players and whether or not you want to have bots. If you want to play single player, you need bots, of course, called AI in this game. Auto balance uh, can be annoying, but just keep it. And you can enter a name for the game. Also, you can have more than two teams, actually. Let's try three. Then there is a respawn time and max score and game time. How many minutes? And all you have to do then is press OK. And then you will see on the right side the bots joining. And you can pick a character. There are four characters available. Uh, each of them has a different fifth gun. There are, there are four guns, which each of them has. And then there's a fifth one, which is unique to all three, to each of the three. So join one of the teams. And here is your character. You can pick weapons by pressing one, two, three, four, five. And we'll just real quickly, we'll go through all the guns. Later, we can take a look at uh, multiplayer because this is single player. This is with only bots. So right click zooms in when you use the sniper, which is the first gun, and then you can shoot. Oh, well, I assisted that kill. Let's try to get one other. Okay, one and nope. And Miss again. There we go. A takedown from our side. By the way, all these are we uh, water weapons, so it's quite kid friendly. Uh, if uh, enemy 3D models that you can look under the skirt, if you really try, is okay for you. But yeah, nothing crazy. I mean, rather modest actually, these 3D models. Um, right, so that was the first gun. The second one is the. I mean, what, what is it? A water launcher, I guess. It looks totally like a rocket launcher. That must have been a hit, but not quite enough. So let's wait until she reloads. Uh oh, I think I might be done for. Come on, baby. Ah, damn it. Nope. And damn, I suck at this right now. At least I'm not getting killed. Um, all right, you know what? I need to stop aiming with right click. There we go, a takedown. 
And I think these this one is also not on my team. But that was a good save. Nice jumping there. Alright, and another takedown. And I think she's gonna take me down with her grenades. Nope, she ran into my water explosion. Ah. Good evasion skills there. Yes, another one. Alright, time to switch to a third gun. Number three. You can also use m the mouse wheel, by the way. And then right-click to zoom in a bit. And this is a kind of a machine gun. It's a fast pistol. Fast water pistol. You can also press Q to switch perspective a little. But I think I prefer the standard view. Nice. Double kill. Too bad there's no double kill announcer or something. Oop. Damn it. Ran into with to her with a near-empty mag. Whoa. I'm in a roll. Ha! Huh. Suicidal. Alright, so finally somebody got us. And now we respawn after 5 seconds, because that's a setting we picked earlier. And now we have a grenade, which is uh, just a water balloon, I suppose. With some digital cool stuff. Restrict area. Hmm. Probably area that cannot be visited by bots or something. Oh, I see an enemy. Let's try to sneak up. We can just... Hold down the button. There we go. Nice. Again, a double kill. And let's see. Is she gonna... Nope. We got her. And now we're dead. Lotus, I think, k killed us there. Alright, so that was gun number four. And now, this is... Uh, let's see, can we take a look? This is a fan, I think. And I believe this is actually a healing weapon. I'm not quite sure whether I can uh, demonstrate it well. I also can... I don't know, can we see... Well, this is an enemy, so let's just... There's a friendly fire, by the way. Oh, there we go. Let's find some friendlies and try to heal them. I mean, they have these pink uh, icons. Does this mean they're behind a wall or that I can heal them? Again with the enemy, damn it. Did I just team kill somebody? Damn it. Anyways, this, I think, according to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. It's following um, my teammate. Wait, was that in... Yes, yes. It's a hairdryer, right? This game is about making uh, our players sweat until they lose. And the hairdryer heals them. So that's how this works. Cool. Um, right, so that's for that character. I'm gonna press escape and press switch character, and then we're gonna try it Quadra Poluga. Hard to, hard to pronounce. Uh, join team one. Here she is, and uh, we, I mean, one, two, three, four. These guns are all the same. I don't know, maybe they have different color textures, I'm not sure. She, uh, her skin uh, definitely has a different texture. Uh, player skin. And uh, number five is a different weapon altogether. I should have actually demonstrated just now. It's a shield. Right click zooms in again, but left click just activates it for like a second. So you have to hold it down. Let's see. Where's some enemy that would shoot at us? There we go. Perfect. So it's effective against snipers and possibly machine guns, or rather these pistols. There, you see? It actually ref reflects back at them. But I think the water uh, bombs and... Whoa. The water bombs and uh, rocket launcher, water launchers, I think they are... They will just penetrate this shield, I'm not sure. Can you shoot me, please? Whoa, damn it. Wait until I have it. Oh, okay, so I just reflected something and caused friendly fire, apparently. Man, I'm not getting it. Uh, shoot me, please. Damn. Well, somehow I helped. So yeah, that's the second character. Let's go back to switch character. Temiko Kangara. Uh, join, join team one. There she is, and uh, her weapon number five is this staff. Which is actually a sensor. I mean, a radar. It has a very long reload time, and then you can see it pinging around the area. 
And then you can see enemies through walls. Very useful. Then you know when they will walk around, uh, come, come around the corner and when you can prepare your shots. Very cool. But takes a lot of time to reach restart. I mean, uh, to reload. And then there. I just had to wait like two, three seconds until I was able to use it. Pretty much like the rocket launcher, which is also very... Whoa, and there I got shot. Well, it's fine. Just water. Yep, so here it is. What the heck? And here it is pinging around. Hmm, I, th I thought there used to be a sound for that. Anyways, very helpful little toy. Let's go back to switch character, and this time... Tri... Anga... Poluga. Oh, the first three are Poluga, only the third one is Kangara. Alright, we're gonna join Team 1 again, and here she is, and what is her fifth weapon? It's a turret! I love turrets. Takes a time, takes a little while to deploy. And actually, let's... Shoot! Okay, there is an enemy. Oh, okay. Here, shoot this enemy, please. Nice. It kind of shoots, gren shoots grenades. But I don't know why it just disappeared. I guess it has an extremely low lifetime. Not sure where it would be indicated. Let's just... What the heck? Or I guess it just got killed by by her. Very weird. Or maybe you just have to keep pressing the button. Hmm. Well, or maybe there's a bug. I just don't know. But it's a nice grenade uh, support. With pretty good aim. What's with that beeping? Come on, buddy. Damn it. Ouch. <coughs> Ow. Well, so much for that. So there are four character classes. Each with a different fifth weapon. Let's just try out the turret one more. Take down! Yep, I totally deserve that. One more and... How about her? Yes! Let's see if we can actually throw this thing up there. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe on a tree? Neat! You cannot have more than uh, one, by the way, at the same time. I like that. Yeah, just stay there in the tree, why don't ya? Very cool. So you can totally abuse this, apparently. But you have to redeploy them all the time. Halt! Oh yeah, and the game just ended. So, game is over, team 1-1, one, one, because obviously I was so great on it. And it's restarting. There we go. So now let's uh, take a look at online multiplayer. Um, right, as you saw, I hosted this game. And I'm just gonna... For demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna start this game a second time. There we go. Let's make it a bit smaller this time. And I'm gonna try to join that other game. I'm just gonna show you how to, because there is an in-game um, server browser, but I'm afraid it doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna have to wait a little, skip the intro sequence, wait until the logos disappear. <sighs> oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go to play, and let's go to, again, the same map. Medieval City. And let's go, not, don't press start server this time, instead go to multiplayer. And what we can do is press online, but it doesn't appear here. I don't know why. It should appear here, but it doesn't. So what instead you have to do is press direct join. And here you have to enter the IP address of the host. And for that, the, the host needs to tell you their IP address. And it will probably end in colon 4545. Because that's the uh, port which this game seems to always use. And then you just press connect. 
In this case, in this case, it doesn't work. Uh, I don't remember the, pro the IP right now. But yeah, alternatively, if you're in, like at the same behind the same router, you can actually connect via LAN. But for online, this doesn't seem to work yet. Hopefully, in future versions, you can try it. But if it doesn't work, just go to Direct Join and copy paste the IP address which the host gave you, and it should work. Um, actually, let's yeah, let's demonstrate it. Boop, 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 boop. Again, yeah, yeah, different stats. Multiplayer LAN, let's just join this game so we can see that it actually works on this level at least. Gonna take this character, join team one. Am I in team one? And she, yeah, we are both in team one. So now, I mean, as you can see, it's very laggy. But it does work. We are now standing next to each other. Come on, walk into the frame. There we go. Um, yeah. So much for that. And now this one is dead. Let's see if we can save ourselves. Nope, we're dead as well. Ouch. Right, so that was it for Battle Splash. Just gonna close it. All you have to do is download the game from the official itch page and start it. If you want to host, you will need to open some ports. And if you are looking for people to play with, you can actually join the Avon Place Discord chat. The link is in the description, and all you have to do is like, pick a username and uh, register with an email address, and then you can chat with people. And there in Discuss, in the Discuss channel, you can request who wants to play Battle Splash, and then hopefully people will reply and join your server or help you host it. So, hope this was useful. Make sure to give this video a like if it was, and to subscribe for more awesome games in the future. And I hope to see you in the next video. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about Battle Splash and playing it. Yeah, have fun. Ciao!